use me. Use me how you may. Use me. Use me every day. Use me. Use me. Use me. Use me, use me, Lord. Use me, use me, use me, Lord. Use me every day. Cause I know there's nothing too hard for nothing. The power belongs. I know this. I know. I know. You sent your only son and you sent your only son to die for us, and all you ask is for radical obedience to you. We're not asking, you're not asking us to do the least. You know, people be like, well, at least I, how we gonna do the least when he did the most? <laughs> I've seen him work miracles in my life. Work miracles in our life. You know, the devil presents so many flashy, shiny objects. I have seen everything that the devil could have showed you via TV, videos, car dealerships, jewelry, houses. And I tell you, nothing beats God. Nothing, nothing, and of sound mind. Nothing beats God. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Let's not be concerned with the opinions of men at all. Only the opinion of God. Let's not be concerned with the validation of men at all. Only of God. To hold each other accountable. I know we say, oh, this is the culture. That's the culture. To be radically in service to Christ is the only culture that I want to know about. In the four walls, out of the four walls, in the school halls. Our Father Christ Jesus, thank you so much for bringing me to the home where I was born, when my mother met my daddy, and when my mother met my daddy. Thank you for saving me, for replenishing me, for delivering me. When I found out about you and got closer to you, I got closer to my children. I got closer to my family. Because the devil had me chasing a gold statue.
Had me chasing cars, had me chasing numbers. We ain't know what Billboard was when we was first making music back in Chicago. Back when I was 14 at my mama crib, we ain't know what the numbers was. Now I'd be all over the internet, like, oh, you only sold this much. The power of God cannot be calculated by a number, by a first week sale, by a, by a bank account, by how many cars you drive, by how big your house is, and how many acres you got. It's God inside of us. It's God inside of family. It's God inside of friendships that we hold each other accountable. If you see somebody slipping, you tell them. They be coming at me like, why are you so judgmental? It ain't for me to judge, but I'm going to say what I see. That's another thing the devil tried to do. Why, why you keep on speaking up so much? I'm just pointing to the word. I have a family member who, who God has given a new chance at life. He went through something extremely tragic and God gave him a new chance at life, but and he's with someone, his girlfriend, so beautiful. He had definitely been prom king if this was his girlfriend back when he was high school. But he not ready to get, he got every reason why he don't want, every reasons. that's what I said, you know. We can speak incorrect English. English ain't our original language, no way. So stop trying to be all impressed when somebody all like. <laughs> so. He has so many, my mom, an English professor, I can pick and choose when I want to ask the colloquialisms. <laughs> but every excuse he got, he, I know the real reason you still, you still in them DMs, bro. That's why, that's the real reason why you won't go get that ring and get right with God. The fathers, if it's a household next to yours, that's lacking a father, you that father now. You speak up on that block. You set that example. There is nothing to In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you say that, Atlanta?